Hi there, welcome to another episode, and on this one I'd like to talk about um, something that's quite interesting really, from the CEO, Jeff Lawson, he's the CEO of Twilo, Twilo, I think it's Twilo, Uh, and his statement of don't fire your staff for making mistakes. So, who are Twilo and who is Jeff Lawson? So, Twilo is a customer engagement company started in 2008 and services roughly 240,000 businesses. In 2017, uh, uh, Uber cut back spending with them. Tempted to lay the blame for this on one person responsible for the account. And that's when, you know... He, he took a little step back, I think, and thought, well, let's look at the bigger picture here. Are they spending less because of what they're doing as a company or because of this individual? So he decided to do something called the blameless post-mortem, which I really find fascinating and I quite like it, actually. It, and it's something that you could do in, well, everyone's going to make a mistake with an organisation, so you can do it anywhere, really. So, he's decided to see if the system, not the person, was at fault. Which is a really interesting way to look at things. Because it's so easy just to blame the individual that's responsible for the account. So, he decided to do a little bit of digging. He found that the real cause was the sales staff and the department was undermanned. So, there was, the communication wasn't good with, between his organisation and their customers. There wasn't that consistency. Though everybody that was working there was managing multiple accounts. And you couldn't dedicate that kind of specific time to their accounts. So, more people means more talks. That will take place with more people. So it just came to light that basically more people would have had more talks with Uber. So they probably would have been fine. They probably wouldn't have reduced the spending. And it actually turns out the person who was responsible for Uber overall had 30 other accounts. Uber's massive. They should have their own account manager for that kind of thing. And it's just insane that, you know, even like as a CEO, he's there, he's, he's identifying these issues. But ultimately, that falls down to his management team. They're not identifying the problems, or if they are, they're not bringing it to his attention, so he can at least look at it. And then you can make a constructive decision. And then you know, as a CEO, that you have made that mistake, should it not work out. You had the information and you made the decision. So again, it's as one in my, my previous episode. Is it honesty? You know, and this this Jeff Lawson seems to have took an honest look at this, and found out the data. And found out, it was no firing that was needed. It was recruitment that was needed. They needed more people. So since then, Twilo has grown more than five times their um, employee base with over 5,500 people worldwide. And every employee will make mistakes. So this is like a little conversation that he had with BBC News. Uh, You have to build systems which make mistakes less catastrophic. Because if one person can bring down the company, then the leader is at fault. Which is very true. If one person can absolutely destroy your company, then you haven't set it up very well. It, you know, I mean, if this individual that was responsible for Uber has also had 29 other clients, have 29 other clients not had their budget cut? You know, I mean, is he doing okay in other areas? It's just not. It's just Uber that failed, but they they've actually reduced it by seventeen percent their spend for that year. So that could have been a multitude of factors, but because they didn't actually get around to communicating enough, I think they were unaware 
of what was actually happening there. So I just found this really interesting and I need to do a little bit more looking into this Jeff Lawson fellow because he sounds like a very smart guy and he probably has lots of other good things to say that can help you out to be honest. Because I, I found this one quite good and it's a very good way of looking at mistakes that happen in an organisation. So I hope you found it helpful. Hopefully you found it, you can use it in some way and potentially save someone's job. And uh, I will catch you later.